It's not easy to say uh, something about this exhibition in a few sentences, but uh, let's be pragmatical with time and technical. Um, it's kind of a big show uh, with artists of different generations coming from so-called Balkan region. Um, to avoid this typical political connotation of the region, we discussed a lot with Ali Akai as a co-curator how to kind of avoid this stereotypical notion of Balkan and we connected it to the local saying of the cold front is coming from the Balkan or cold wind. Uh, so it's the whole story behind which I will not describe now because I think it's going to be too long. And this was for us really important, so not to stereo do stereotypes or lean on stereotypes of the Balkan region because we all got tired of them. And all the stereotypes of the Balkan were kind of imposed to us from the West and we just took them as granted. So the main focus of the show is not to discuss Balkan, but to discuss the region which has a vivid history, a kind of turbulent history, with unfortunately wars going on, not only 100 years ago, but also, of course, being part of Second World War, and then what happened in Yugoslavia in the 90s. But all in all, the show is not about the wars, it's about the comments that artists would make on the surrounding they live in, so they would comment the political surrounding, the social surrounding. They would comment um, their own history, their own art history. So we can see it really within the, the region, kind of a regional thing, but it's also really translate, translatable to the global themes. Uh, it's nothing really special about Balkan. We all live in turbulent times. We all had turbulent histories. We are all part of the human race, you know, just with a bit slightly different stories. And the second really, really important point for us is to show us a younger generation of artists, which was not presented on the Balkan shows 10 years ago, 15 years ago, and to show the narration between older generation and younger generation. So what I want to say is like artists from the region, they are interested in what's going on, where they are born, where they live, or maybe they go away to live somewhere else. But still, they were born in a certain surrounding and they do research it. And they want to know what the artists before them did, how they were referring to the political, social and so on surrounding. And these kind of links are the main focus of the show, kind of connecting different uh, artists of different generations into the one stream of thought. Yeah, you know, with art, it's never easy to give direct translations. Uh, everybody who will come and see the show will do his or her own translation. And that's the beauty of art. Uh, we are only curators, we are only mediators between the artist, the institution and the public. So I hope that everybody will see this quote in a different way within the show, within the different artworks. Uh, but to use this quote is more like, you know, trying to say to people that a stereotype of Balkan is not really a nice one. It's like, you know, wild people who are a bit crazy, too exotic, uh, they like to kill and make wars and you know. Um, so somehow I don't want to um, um, get, get away from this term. Although being Slovenian, usually they say that we are not part of the Balkan. It's like, you know, it's not discussing the region, but it's more discussing the history of the place. And you know, in Slovenia we say, yeah, Balkan starts in Croatia. In Croatia, they say, yeah, Balkan starts in Bosnia. In Bosnia, okay, they cannot escape because the mountain comes eventually to there. So anyhow, it's always there somewhere. More south you go, more the stereotype of Balkan is alive. So it's kind of, you know, in a way I'm using this quote of Zizek 
uh, to kind of get rid of the stereotypes and get rid of the idea that something bad is always southeast. Maybe it's northwest, you know. Maybe the evil is there and not on the other side. So it's more like playing with this idea. <laughs>